Get Biblical Understanding, along with T.A. McMahon. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And with all I getting, get understanding. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. This is number 58 in our series of Get Biblical Understanding. In this session, we're reading many, but certainly not all, of the biblical verses that have to do with being other-directed, meaning selfless. Jesus gave us the example that we are to follow. He came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life to save us from our sins. Again, the theme of this series is selflessness. Romans chapter 15, verses 5 to 7. Now the God of patience and consolation grant you to be like-minded one toward another, according to Christ Jesus, that ye may with one mind and one mouth glorify God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Wherefore, receive ye one another, as Christ also received us to the glory of God. Romans chapter 16, verses 3 to 4. Greet Priscilla and Aquila, my helpers in Christ Jesus, who have for my life laid down their own necks, unto whom not only I give thanks, but also all the churches of the Gentiles. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 1 to 8. Dear any of you, having a matter against another, go to law before the unjust and not before the saints? Do you not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Know ye not that we shall judge angels? How much more things that pertain to this life? If then ye have judgments of things pertaining to this life, Set them to judge who are least esteemed in the church. I speak to your shame. Is it so that there is not a wise man among you? No, not one that shall be able to judge between his brethren? But brother goeth to law with brother, and that before the unbelievers. Now therefore there is utterly a fault among you, because ye go to law with one another. Why do you not rather take wrong? Why do you not rather suffer yourselves to be defrauded? Nay, you do wrong and defraud, and that your brethren. 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verses 9 to 13. But take heed lest by any means this liberty of yours become a stumbling block to them that are weak. For if any man see thee which has knowledge sit at meat in the idol's temple, shall not the conscience of him which is weak be emboldened to eat those things which are offered to idols. And through thy knowledge shall the weak brother perish, for whom Christ died. But when ye sin so against the brethren, and wound their weak conscience, ye sin against Christ. Wherefore, if meat make my brother to offend, I will eat no flesh while the world standeth, lest I make my brother to offend. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 19-23 to 23. For though I be free from all men, Yet have I made myself servant unto all, that I might gain the more. And unto the Jews I became as a Jew, that I might gain the Jews. To them that are under the law, as under the law, that I might gain them that are under the law. To them that are without law, as without law, being not without law to God, but under the law to Christ, that I might gain them that are without law. To the weak became I as weak that I might gain the weak. I am made all things to all men, that I might by all means save some. And this I do for the gospel's sake, that I might be partaker thereof with you. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 24. Let no man seek his own, but every man another's wealth, that is well-being. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. Whether therefore ye eat or drink, or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 32-33 to 33. Give none offense, neither to the Jews, nor to the Gentiles, nor to the church of God. Even as I please all men in all things, not seeking my own profit, but the profit of many, that they may be saved. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 25-26 to 26. That there should be no schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care one for another. And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it. Or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. 
Thanks for listening, and we hope you'll join us again as we search the scriptures in order to get biblical understanding. 